Well guys, we got some new Nintendo news today. The best being that Froggy Chair has made its glorious return to Animal Crossing. But then, after what was probably the most well-received New Horizons expansion so far, Nintendo decided they had something else to say to fans. And I can guarantee you that it ain't no Froggy Chair. Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack adds the three benefits we previously introduced, starting at this pricing plan. So yeah, if you guys haven't heard till now, Nintendo will be expanding its online content for an additional $30, making the individual plan $50 and the family plan $80 a year. Now, a lot of people are mad at this because the expansion includes two new retro libraries and the Animal Crossing DLC as well. But for people who don't have New Horizons, this is a steep price for some retro games. And I know that there's parents out there single-handedly paying the full price of the family plan themselves for their kids, which is even more expensive for them now, and even less beneficial if they don't have Animal Crossing. So really, the only way for this to be truly worth it would be for them to frequently update the retro catalogs. And if it's going to be anything like the NES and Super NES libraries, then we are completely and utterly fucked. This is really my main issue with this expansion, is that Nintendo does everything in their power to make this online service feel limited. If they were constantly updating the game selection, it would actually be one of the cooler gaming services available, as Nintendo has the best retro collection of anyone. But they don't take advantage of that, and I have zero faith that they'll suddenly change with this expansion. Now, adding more consoles to the virtual library would help with accepting the price change. Throw in some GameCube, maybe the Game Boy. Hell, throw in Virtual Boy games for all I care. But this library has to be updated frequently for me to feel justified about this purchase. Granted, the N64 library is starting off pretty strong, Banjo-Kazooie 100% being the highlight for me. But these games are damn near as old as I am, and I'm pushing 30 so they need to increase the quantity in both the current libraries and with the future added consoles. That's the only way in my opinion that they can make this seem remotely worth it, especially if you don't play Animal Crossing. Unless of course they offer an alternative plan that doesn't include the Animal Crossing DLC and offers the retro libraries for less. But again, with how the updates have been for the existing libraries, I have little to no faith whatsoever. Of course, they can add the GameCube and stuff as an additional expansion on top of this one, which, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they did in the slightest. Ugh, god. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces! God damn you, Nintendo. You did this because you know I would pay the ultimate price to play Banjo-Kazooie again on one of your consoles. You sneaky bastards.